Welcome back to On The Daily. I hope that wherever you are, you're having a great day. Today I'm talking about something that I actually had a conversation with a fellow coach about last week. Uh, my friend Jocelyn Kelly Reed, she is such a badass and we were talking about this idea of leading yourself. This is going to be a short and sweet episode because I just really... This has been, I've been thinking about this all weekend. I'm like, oh my gosh, like we have to, this has to be said. And so we were talking about how leading yourself is treated like a destination when actually it is the baseline. Leading yourself, standing in your power, making decisions for yourself, that should be the the bare minimum. That should be the baseline for human existence. And we treat it like it's the destination. And what I mean by that is there are so many people out there who are like, oh my gosh, like someday when I can like actually do what I want to do or, you know, people perceive if you have a business, people perceive like making decisions just strictly because you want to make them. People perceive that power as something that they don't have and hopefully someday will when actually like y'all leading yourself, standing in your power, making decisions for your business just because you want to make them. That's that's the baseline. That that should be the obvious. That is the beginning of the journey. Nothing else happens unless you stand in your power. And we are so shaky. There's so many people that are just so shaky and unstable. Even in that, even in this idea that like, oh, I lead myself. I think for myself. I make decisions for myself. I do what I want to do because I want to do it. And I make decisions for my business as such. We treat that like such a nuanced thing. And the ability to do that is so shaky when you can't do anything in your business unless that's the way you operate. And then people who are not leading themselves, you know, we have all the, we do have people that are like, I lead myself, I make decisions and people are always shocked by it. Like the people that I feel like there's people in my life that don't do that. They treat it like I'm attacking them. Like they treat my ability to lead myself through things and hold myself through ups and downs and make decisions for myself because I want to make them. People treat that like attack on them because they don't do that. And y'all, that is just so far from the truth. It's just not true. Like there, it's just that, that is, that should be the beginning of the journey, right? Like, yes, you're going to have to grow through money, money stuff. You're going to have to grow through your limiting beliefs. You're going to have to grow through, you know, different levels of your business, the ability to hold space for a different type of client, the ability to call in different types of wealth, the ability to hold yourself through bigger problems, all of that you're going to have to learn how to do. You're going to have to grow into. That's going to be an evolving process. But just being able to stand in your personal power, we need to start thinking of that like it is. And that is the baseline. But we're so shaky there. Oh, I don't know. I don't know. But if I'm like, if I can listen to my intuition, I don't know if I can guide myself through this. I don't know if that's possible for me. Well, you better get it to be possible for yourself because I guarantee you, if you don't have that, you literally can't do anything else in your business. That is, that is the, the, the bare minimum being able to think for yourself and lead yourself is the bare minimum. Um, and then you can evolve through the rest. You can grow through the rest. You can continue to morph and expand and become all through the other parts of your business. And I have, you know, I have a master class coming out later all about like holding yourself, like how to hold space, how to hold yourself through the ups and downs of your business. I'm going to, I'm going to have a master class about that. So I'm going to teach you how to do that. But like, if you still feel like leading yourself and making decisions for yourself and standing in your power is the, this far off destination and that, that step, but you don't have stability in that. And that feels shaky. That's where you start. That's where you got to start. You got to go back to that and you got to learn how to do that first. And then you learn how to do everything else. Okay. <laughs> I, uh, I have two master classes coming soon. Um, one is, or not master classes, sorry. I have two masterminds launching soon. One is Launch With Power, which is currently running. And that is my 
entrepreneurship mastermind for people who are scaling their businesses, launching their businesses, expanding their businesses. Uh, a mastermind is a great place to be when you are in that season um, or in those seasons because you're with people and peers who are on that same level as you and making similar decisions. Even if they're at a different level than you, they're still making similar decisions. So that's why I love a mastermind. This mastermind is now rolling. So you actually can participate for six or 12 months, which is really great. Um, and then I have the return to personal power mastermind, which isn't necessarily for entrepreneurs, but it is for the person who's like looking for that main character energy of 2023. You really are looking for a life in which, you know, leading yourself is baseline and the people that are in this space are having the conversations that are so beyond just leading yourself. It's leading yourself through, you know, financial crisis, leading yourself through grief, leading yourself through, uh, unhappy clients through different levels of your business. That's everything that's going to be happening inside of return to personal power. And that's going to start as a 12 week mastermind. It probably will extend, but it'll start as 12 weeks and we begin March 1st. So if you want more information on those, please come visit our show notes. Um, or come visit me on Instagram, Danielle underscore on the daily. You can also find it at daniellemcleary.com. You can look at all my courses. You can see different ways to work with me, more high level, more one-on-one. -on -one. And um, I hope that you take this information today and realize that you, you being able to make decisions and lead yourself and stand in your power is not something you need to work toward. It is a standard that you need to hold in the beginning, like from the get go, you need to be able to hold that standard. And when you do, then you can really start to, you know, break down some of these other things and some of these other issues and some of these other areas in your business where you're feeling, um, you know, where you're feeling lost or confused or, um, like, you know, you need support. Being able to lead yourself is going to be where you start and then you can work through the rest of it. I hope this is helpful. If it is, go ahead and share it. Tag me if you do. And I'll see you on Friday for another episode. Love you.